Hello and welcome back to another certified Ultra Chefian video. This is another part of us trying to fix my M5 E60. This car has been a headache so far and it's not stopping. So in the last video you saw that we had some issues getting a starter and some other smaller parts to make it ready for a big road trip across the US. In this video I think I found a solution and it's probably the most insane thing I've ever done and I really don't know if I am mentally stable at this point. Let's see if it will work. Enjoy the video. It is Saturday. We have around 48 hours, not even 48 hours. We're like 24 hours left until we start a road trip. And we actually just came up with a hopefully genius idea. We went on Facebook Marketplace and we looked for M5 starter. We couldn't really find a starter. So that's when we found something else. And that something else is basically a complete M5 E60. So we are currently waiting for Sean to come here. Um, he has a trailer and a dually and then we're gonna drive one hour out of Charleston and we're gonna buy a second M5 E60 that we can take apart and use the starter on my M5 E60. We don't really know if it's gonna work. We honestly don't even know if the M5 even exists because it is pretty cheap I have to say it's the cheapest one we found and we don't know if we're gonna get scammed we don't know if we're gonna get shot or anything because it is in a very sketchy area and it seemed to be a very sketchy dude. I already paid him like 300 bucks so he takes uh, the advertisement offline he insisted on me doing that so yeah we're trusting him big time here i don't really know if that's the solution for all of our problems but it definitely is a right start it is very i don't even know what to say Spannend. Complicated yeah. and spannend. yeah <laughs> one m5 e60 already is a pain in the ass i can't imagine owning two of those it's almost but... more for them <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah there she is yeah, lovely M5 that is causing us all the headaches the past week. We're gonna actually split up, which means uh, Mani and Gaps, they are gonna stay here. Their plan or their mission is basically to put together my car again so that we only have to drop the starter into the car once we arrive. Me and Sean, we're gonna go and hopefully not get scammed, not get roped or anything else. I'm a bit nervous now, as you can maybe tell, because it is quite an adventure. Hey, hey. Are you ready to get scammed and robbed? Yes. Perfect. I'm no, I have a gun too. Oh, all right. <laughs> yeah, so this is gonna be our very American towing rig, which is Sean's dually. I do have to say, I really love it here in America. And I do really love American trucks, and this one specifically. <laughs> I think this should get the job done. This should pull the M5 pretty, pretty simple. Sean is looking for the trailer right now, I think. Guys, I can't tell you. I've been so sad. <laughs> the whole day because I did not think it's gonna work out and now we have a slight chance that we might actually be able to do the road trip with the M5. This chance is very very risky but maybe it has a high reward. What a mission. Always a mission with you. I'm sorry man. Generally I do feel bad. Every time we come here Sean just has to do like the worst things possible. <laughs> I'm sorry if you see that Sean. <laughs> All right, we're getting closer to Mr. M5 guy. <laughs> it's a very beautiful area, but at the same time, it kind of looks like a very, I don't know, country sketch. Don't say it. We don't really feel 100% safe, let's just put it like that. Um, Sean is already planning kind of like an escape route, but I guess we'll see how that goes. I do still have kind of a good feeling about it though, so. Kind of. Kind of, yeah. Some nice trailers. Yeah, at least that. That trailer's got a lift kit on it. Oh my wow. god. <laughs> Alright, Mr. M5 guy. Alright, wish us luck. Hey man. How are you? Uh, well, mainly we need the starter. Well, so we can drive it on the trailer? Hell yeah. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Should I look? No, we're good. Seems like we got them five secured. Everything good, everything chill. I don't really know what to say. It's missing the headlights. The headlights are in the car though. So the only uh, kind of Instagram thing you're missing is side skirts uh, and stuff. And it has some very interesting wheels. But it's running and it's driving, which is a great thing. Transmission is f***ed up, but that's normal with the SMGs. Should be good. Honestly, really, really chill dude. We had like all these anxious yeah, oh yeah. moments for nothing yeah, because this guy seems like a really, really nice guy. 
So shout out if you ever came across the channel. Shout out to you, man. You helped us out great time, honestly. This is now officially my second and five. I have never thought it would come to be this way, but here we are. Pretty cool with Sean's super duty in the front. Bro, Sean, honestly, been such a great guy to me. Look at this. What a setup. What a setup. We are literally out in the middle of nowhere right now, picking up a random M5. All to do the road trip, all to get my M5 running again. So we're just waiting for Sean to tie everything down properly, and then we're gonna head yeah, back just home. Just waiting on me, you know? Just <laughs> waiting on me. But you don't need to help. Oh, you're so f***ing okay. slow. It's, there we go. it's okay. That's okay. What do you say to those wheels? I say that I want them. My E53 X5 needs them. <laughs> Bro, the cool thing here now is that I also have matching doors and fenders. Nice catch. I'd say. See you guys. Have a good day. What did she say? She said, um, she said, buy Black Beauty. <laughs> <laughs> he was cool, though. Yeah, good thing. Shout out. Yeah, honestly. Uh, Hayward. Honestly. Yeah, yeah Hayward, I think. Yeah. Shout out, Hayward. Thanks for giving us a second M5. Black what Beauty. A, what a time to be alive. Black Beauty. <laughs> Black Beauty. <laughs> Black Beauty. <laughs> <laughs> Can't believe that actually worked out so easily. All right, now it's going to be reported stolen. <laughs> Oh we made God. it. Sorry, man. I still can't believe uh -oh. I have a Black Beauty M5 with me right now. <laughs> oh, we lost the cover. Oh my God. <laughs> Bro, come here. <laughs> Ew. There's no way. That's disgusting. So it's bright of the Black Beauty. It's been exploded. Oh, this is so geil. Really. Let's show Mani and Gabriel. It's really nice in five. Ja, wo er da? Der nockt aber wenig. Gelle Karre ist lange gestanden. Ah, ja, okay, was? Warum sind da scheiß Unterhosen hin? Warum so grünzige? So, ladies and gentlemen, M5 number one. Oh, actually, problem number one yeah. and problem number two. But together, M5 collector. Yeah. Oh, it looks good. Okay, really quick before we do anything, I really want to take a closer look at this car because I literally have not looked at the car. Schaut gar nicht so schlecht aus, finde ich. Von dort hin. Ja, trifft mich. Wir haben wieder alle Ja. Stange vorne, Stange hinten. Wir haben Unterfahrschutz wieder. Und für Gabriel haben wir Hosen. Hosen, ja. Ich wollte mir heute schon einen Walmart kaufen. Ja, Jeans. Jeans noch, Alter, geil. Zum Hackern, gerne, Gabriel, habe ich ja für dich was gekauft. Danke, Ey, das ist noch nicht alles, Jungs. Kommst du mit? Also, erstens mal, das ist gescheit, Gero. Der hat unseren Trick gestasst. Ich glaube, das ist so ein M5-Ding. Da hinten sind noch die Lichter drinnen übrigens. Ah, nicht normal. Aber Vorfacelift. Und, warte, das Highlight kommt erst noch. Wir haben einen Haufen Müll mitbekommen. Schuhe. Hey, das sind sogar originale Clubs. Aber in Klinischen. Geh mir Waffen im Make-up. Ey, ohne Scheiß, dass du das Herrn so aufsetzt. Wow. <lacht> ist absurd. Also, oh, oh, Alter. Alter, geil. Also, das tun wir sofort bei mir rein. Ja. Ah. Ah, Multimeter? Hey. Hey, das könnte ein Auto von dir sein. <lacht> Multimeter. <lacht> Batterie haben wir. Hallo. Checkboard, Jungs. Oh, ich bin hier, 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 It actually seems to be a pretty solid M5. I mean, it could be a bit more pretty, but we did get a really good catch. Shout out to Facebook Marketplace and Manny and Gabriel for finding this car. <laughs> I already said it to Sean. You know, one M5 was not enough problems. Why not just go and buy a second one for double the problems? But I do hope that this one is actually gonna solve all the problems that this one has. So let's keep our fingers crossed and see what will happen. First things first, we're gonna rip the solder out of this one here. 
and put it into this one because that's the main issue. And now we're gonna throw this one on and see how it's running actually. M539 Restorations contacted me on Instagram and he told me that you can get out the starter motor pretty easily if you just leave the housing of the starter motor inside the engine and then you can pull it out from the front and you don't have to do it all the way from the rear like we did. Which makes sense, but we're gonna figure out now if that is really the truth or not. I really hope it is the truth, but we'll, we'll see. This pretty much here is basically why I bought an M5. This on top is also important. And this here of course as well. It's baby. <laughs> Three fucking days we were looking for a starter. All it took was just one one trip to, to the ghetto of Charleston to, to get to get an M5 and a free starter. Wieder mal frisch geboren ist Kind, da ist das so behandelt wie der Starter jetzt. Yeah, it's just one of the way to holen. Jetzt ist dann soweit. Das ist ein Kübel. 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 All right, this is a monumental moment. Sorry for speaking so much German, but we are just very excited right now. Starter is finally very close to being inside my car again. It feels very good. Very solid moment right now. <laughs> 10 out of 10 on the sheep man scale. So this part was broken to mine. Yes. Everything else was still good, but we still replaced some of the parts because this had some nicer parts and mine also had some nice parts. Together we have a very nice, hopefully working starter. Starter is in the car. Obviously, we don't know if it works yet or not, but I. Sicher. Ich glaube schon. So let's put together the rest of the car and then we'll see if it fires up or not. That was a bit very frustrating today when we got the message that the star is not arriving. But then on the other side, it was very motivating <laughs> to have another M5 sitting next to my M5. Always cool to have a spare part car. Never give up, stay positive. Just do it! Do it! <laughs> okay, moment of truth to see if the starter is going. The starter is not spinning, which is amazing. But Gabriel and Mani said it's not stuck, it's just not really getting the permission to spin. So, what they're thinking is it might be some kind of relay or like Sicherung. So my idea really quick is that the battery is actually dead because every time I turn it on also the lights and everything start flickering and it kind of sounds like the star just doesn't have enough power to spin freely. Luckily we have a spare M5, gonna take the battery of that one and use it for mine really quick. Legend battery. This is on the Yeah. That is cable. Was hier weg geht? Ja. Das geht so. Ah! Ja, das ist ein angesteckt. Hey Jungs. Oh, das war, das war auch gesteckt. Ja, aber es steckt jetzt nochmal an. Ja, jetzt, jetzt steckt es. Oh, an. jetzt im Speck da, Jürgen. Ja. Ich habe gerade ein random YouTube-Video und hier hat das gleiche Thema wie uns. Er hat gesagt, es ist literally das Kabel. Das heißt, unser Kabel ist nicht verbunden mit dem Engine gerade. Probier! Warte, warte, warte. Ja, geht Thank you, random guy on YouTube, for doing the video with 2000 views who literally had the same issue as us. That was a 10 second fix, I can't believe it. All right, so the engine is somewhat back together. We are still missing, obviously, my intake plenum. Let's see if it starts. So we do have a check engine light and it doesn't really sound that healthy, but at least it's running, which is a good thing. It's more than it did last three days. I think we're just gonna go to sleep now because it is like 2.30 in the morning. And I would love to start the road trip tomorrow. So see you guys tomorrow, I guess. And also, 
quick shout out at this point to Gabriel and Mani for doing such a good work. See you tomorrow. Hello and welcome back to Casa de European Road and Racing here in Charleston. We're gonna hopefully work on my M5 today. We got the car to run yesterday, which is pretty nice. So for today's mission, we're going to swap the doors over to the black ones. And we have to figure out the fault code that my engine has. So the plan is to properly assemble the whole engine now one more time. How many times have we done this now? 10 times, I think. Yeah, so that we can read the engine and see what fault codes the engine is throwing up. And then we know if the car is running properly or not. But we need to obviously put everything on the engine and plug every sensor in because otherwise we can have fault codes. I can tell you getting those carbon boxes onto here is just always a pain in the ass. And doing it for the 12th time doesn't make it any better. Good fun, M5, good fun. All right, well, in the engine, everything is somewhat back together. We're still missing a few parts, but all the sensors and all the cables are connected, which is always good. Now we're gonna start the car really quick. We still have no differential oil, so we need to do that. We're gonna start the car really quick, let the engine run, and we're gonna check for fault codes and see if we did everything correctly, which I really, really hope so. So we're gonna use my trusty little Carly. I actually just remembered today that I have this with me. Yeah, that was very frustrating. The only system working in my car currently properly is actually my park distance control, which is very funny. Lights are not working, the entire dash is not working. I think the battery might be too low. That might be cause for some of the issues, but like literally every sensor inside the engine is giving us fault codes. And Gabriel and Mani, they're checking it right now. What's that to say, genau? Uh, also drücken, wann lang steckt das? Uh, yeah, we wanted to start driving today, which I don't know if that's gonna work out. Okay, three engine fault codes is way better than 37, but still, three engine fault codes are three engine fault codes, and the car did not really want to start now. We have problems with the banners on bank two. You know, it always switches. We fix bank one, and then bank two comes again. We don't really know what that's about. We're letting the car sit. Uh, with the ignition on for 30 seconds now because Gabriel said it's supposed to clear the vanos and pump out all the air. So let's see if that helps. Otherwise, I don't really know what we could do. Let's start it one more time, see what happens. And if nothing changes, we're gonna have to get a bit creative, I guess. <laughs> I don't really know. bleeding out with sure. <laughs> yeah. So we have only two more engine codes. One of them is the throttle valve actuator. And the other one was the inlet of vanos bank number two. Assembling the engine again for the 13th time because it was so fun the last couple of times. We are going to check those two because those are the throttle valve actuators. And we might actually take these and switch them over to mine to see if that clears the issues. But it's so weird because, you know, we keep having issues with the banners. Last time I told us it was on bank number one. We fixed bank number one, now it's bank number two again. And it's been like this forever. You, I don't know if you guys remember the last videos, but we've always had issues with that. And we changed the van of solenoids so many times already. It's getting so frustrating, really. Even with two M5s. Okay, so you see the, it's not opening on bank number one. So maybe this down here is actually defect. And that's why we're having these issues. Maybe, maybe not. Look this one is working. Yep. The other one's not working. Yep. So we plugged this in, which is the airflow sensor. So now the throttles are opening, but we had a fire coming out of cylinder number three, which is not okay. No, it's normal when you have a fire. It's cool to see that you have a So, Manu's theory, the little backfire. flames backfire out of cylinder number three is obviously because we have not connected the intake manifold to the engine, so the engine doesn't really know what it's doing. Which makes sense because, you know, we had no issues related to the ignition or anything else prior in the car when everything was still assembled. Now our second thought is that maybe the throttle actuator is pushing against the intake manifold somewhere. So it's not fully opening how it's supposed to. Or actually the actuator itself is just fried and we need to swap it over from this car. So this cable right here was pretty loose on the throttle actuator. We're thinking that maybe we need to swap those because Mani could just pull it off with, with, with his fingers, which is not a good sign. So maybe this cable is causing the issue that we're experiencing right now. Luckily, we have a second car where we can take the parts. So we just had a two hour break to have some lunch. Also in the meantime, we contacted Max from MX Motorsports in Germany. 
he's kind of an expert on these engines. And he told us something that we were kind of thinking, we were not hoping is the truth, but he basically said that our timing chain might be the issue, which would suck because first of all, it's not our fault. Second of all, it was supposed to be perfectly fine engine. And now if the timing chain would really be bad, it would mean that I just simply bought a shitty engine. Basically, it explains also why the Vanos is not working completely and why it's always switching from bank one to bank two, because if the timing is off, obviously also the Vanos is not working properly. Gabriel's putting back together the engine. We're waiting for Sean right now because we need Sean's PC to fully check what's wrong with the car. And also we kind of want to have Sean's opinion on our problem. So, probieren wir es nochmal, oder? Haben wir es wieder zusammen? Karl ist auch schon wieder da. Servus. <laughs> Hopefully no f***ing spider comes up. Let's see. So, the clicking noise Karl says is not coming from the timing chain. It's rather coming from a pulley, which is a good thing. We only need to figure out what the problem is. Sean looks like he's been on an Everglades tour. <laughs> Wenn du den, den Keilriemen runter nimmst, yeah. dann hast du die Antwort sofort. Da weißt du, das ist der Motor. Das, yeah. 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 I bet it's a power steering pump. The thing's been run dry so many times. Ja, ja, ist kaputt. Ja. Yeah. 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 You're welcome. Danke. <laughs> Doktor. Uh, we have some other issues right now. Uh, you remember how Sean hooked up his PC to my M5 a few days ago and it actually destroyed the PC for some reason. The PC he has currently is too slow, so he's just driving to Walmart to buy a new PC. I think Mani and Gabriel, they are sleeping or chilling right now at the moment. Bro, this is taking forever today. All right, so uh, Sean is currently bleeding the Vanos. New PC, new luck, hopefully. Yeah, we're having some really bad luck with the solenoids. So we're gonna take both of these from the ghetto M5 and put them in my new M5. And I think at the same time, Sean is ordering some new ones for us. Like this, at least we can see if it really is that issue. Uh, basically what we need now is these two solenoids. Mani and me, we changed them pretty often already. Mani knows what he's doing. I guess Sean has also know what he's doing. So should be done pretty fast, hopefully. Gabriel also had the beautiful opportunity to change the solenoids. So he also knows kind of how, how it's supposed to be. Get those solenoids for our Ghetto M5. There's he. Is this you on the yeah. No, it's not normal. It should not move like this. But Gamer okay. said the other two are also moving like that. Yeah, no, it's this this is moving a lot more than these. Yeah. There is a little bit of wiggle to them, but not not that much. No, oh, this is an aftermarket one. Yeah. yeah, they did a huge engine service in 2015. I found the check for that. For like 10k. Oh really? Yeah. Turns out that our ghetto M5 is not very helpful because the Vanos solenoids on that one are also not very good. They are wiggling, which they should not. Checking the parts S65 that Sean has right now. Maybe they have no, different Vanos. Different yeah. Alright. Yeah. So maybe the other two on Manis could maybe help us out. Oh. With our luck with shipping, it's gonna turn up in like three weeks. <laughs> well, just for your interest, we got that one new. Yeah, this is the bad charge. So this one is out of the ghetto M5, like I already said, and this one is supposed to be one of the good ones out of mine. It's not as good as the ghetto one, but still we have only very minimal wobble in here. So these two are gonna go in my car and then hopefully it's gonna fix the issues that this bitch is doing to me and everybody else involved. And we can finally start a road trip that we wanted to start like 12 hours ago. First solenoid is inside, it's a black one. Money is cooking some soup in here. What's this one? Come here, come here. Maybe. Second one is also in place. Covered with an auto headlamp. Mr. Heck, come in. This Werkzeug kriegen wir zur Verfügung, steht zum ganzen Auto reparieren. Sonst haben wir nichts. Wir müssen alles mit dem Anibus machen, der Schutz brauchen ist. So, now it's are in place. Uh, putting everything else back together one more time. Let's see how it goes. So far, too good to be true. We need to wait for oil and coolant temp to get up to uh, this here before we can actually test everything. But the Vanos units on the other side, on bank two, they were so poor in condition, or how they were, you know, operational condition at least, 
that they were shutting down basically that whole bank. But already the car sounds much better. Uh, before it was misfiring like crazy on the cylinders, you know, six through 10, yeah, six through 10, so. Thank you, correspondent Sean. Exhaust bank two and intake bank one. The valve current is not within spec. They're making the movements mm -hmm. that they need to. That's why the car is running a lot better. But electrically, the valve current is not where it needs to be. So to be perfect at this point, those would have to be replaced. The solenoids or what is it? Actually, no, it's intake on both cylinders or both banks, but they're, they're just barely out of spec. So we would need to replace two more solenoids. Yeah, and at this point, I wouldn't even fuck around with used ones. I would just put new ones in it, you know, because I mean, I'm sure you guys are getting very sick of doing this. All right, so we're gonna put transmission fluid in the car and we're gonna take it for a first little drive, see how it goes. Like Sean already said, the car is running way better than before. It's still not perfect, but we have no check engine light. Honestly, just fuck it. So uh, all the oil is inside the transmission. We also plugged in the lights. The guy gave us two different lights. We have some OEM ones on the right side with orange lights and some aftermarket ones with LED lights on the left side. I kind of like it because it fits the rest of the car. This is going to be the most embarrassing M5 everybody has ever seen in their entire life. <laughs> I'm going to take it for a small drive now. The only thing is this is still leaking from the steering. We are going to try to fix it tomorrow because we don't want to refill the steering fluid every 100 kilometers. It is only a, a ring, so hopefully we can find that one. Otherwise, our Ghetto M5 is gonna help us out, hopefully. And the doors, wheels have to do the doors. We're ready for the first little test drive, I guess. Wish us luck. We definitely need it. I'm actually very happy about that right now. After all this shit, the car is finally working. Oh yeah, baby. Solenoids again. It's getting worse and worse. <laughs> Insanely weird noises now. Oh my god. Well, there we are again. <laughs> Alright, that was not a very successful test, right? <laughs> we had a code come back for exhaust bank 2, the black one. I don't know, solenoids are still bad. That noise though, that's And that noise, we don't running. know. So is the engine making a noise? Something of the engine, power steering pump, whatever. What I'm getting at is when the engine shut off, the noise stopped. This car is costing me all the nerves I've had for every car ever in my entire life. Yeah. Go ahead and start it. Yes, sir. sounds like it's coming from the oil pan. That's actually not very good. I think we fried the engine. Well, not we fried the engine. I think the engine is just said bye-bye to us. I can't f***ing believe it. All the money I've put into this car, all the work, everything we've put into this car. We did the roof, we did the bodywork. Three weeks we spent working on this car all together. I'm gonna have a fun phone call to make tomorrow. So that noise always was from... No, no, that was the pump. We put fluid in it and we turn it and the no this, is a, this is an entirely new noise. In case you missed it, I bought this engine off a company and it's supposed to be 
not a new engine, but a refurbished one. So everything inside the engine is supposed to be new. And we've driven this engine for probably, let it be, 50 miles altogether. Now the engine is We haven't touched anything inside the engine yet. That is insane. That is honestly insane. That was a very expensive engine as well. That was like 12K for the engine. And we haven't even got to drive the car properly yet. So yeah, there goes my second M5 V60 engine. Without, I haven't even probably driven it. I hope the company who is responsible for building this engine, they're gonna handle it because like Sean said, we have warranty on it. We're probably gonna go to sleep now. I don't think I've ever failed this shit in quite some months. I still do want to make the road trip. I just figure that we might need a different car for that now. <laughs> and the Ghetto M5 is also not really working. So also we're very short on time. We need to start the road trip tomorrow. Otherwise we're not gonna be able to make it. So I need a miracle and I need to get creative. Okay, really quick. Manny and Gabriel, they are cleaning up the garage because our work here is done. Uh, we have put so much time, work and money into this car over the last months. It's insane. The first time we were here, we were like 10 days here working on the car. Now this time it was one week, all day, every day working on the car, trying to get it to run for this road trip that we wanted to do tomorrow. The engine that was supposed to be new or like, you know, it's a used engine, but still it was supposed to be refurbished, which means every part inside was supposed to last and to hold. The engine has a warranty. And it's something that we can't affect. You know, we did not open the engine. We did not work on the engine. We just worked on the exterior of the engine, which all of those parts were also brand new. And now the engine failing, something that was not in our fault, we have nothing to do with the engine. And this basically ruining everything for us is honestly right now pretty overwhelming for me. But Carl, so Sean's dad, he talked to us a lot the last few days and he honestly is a great guy. His like words to live by is to basically see the positive in everything, even the most negative points. That's a good thing, honestly. Uh, I'm gonna try to do the same. Obviously it sucks, but who knows? Maybe this car is just not supposed to be in a road trip with us. Maybe this car is just not supposed to run at all right now at the moment. I can live with that. I'm gonna give you guys a quick update tomorrow what really the plan is with this car now. I still do love this car. It has been one of my dream cars and I really, really desperately want to give it a second chance at life. <laughs> I want to drive it properly, I want to drift it, I want to do road trips with it, I want to enjoy life with it and I just want to, you know, have a properly working M5 and we're gonna get there one way or another. This is not stopping me. We're gonna go to sleep now. This has been an insane week. I still want to do the road trip. I think we can do it. It's going to be very tricky because we have to start tomorrow. Other than that, I don't really think there's much I can say. The engine truly is that road bearings are done engine is rattling as you can hear we definitely need a new engine but that's just how it is sometimes you know especially if you're an m5 owner m5 v60 owner quick shout out to sean at this point again sean is honestly a truly amazing guy and i'm happy that i get to know him everybody here at the workshop is very nice very helpful and it was insane that they just let us work on the car here for all this time and they even helped us sometimes also shout out to justin for doing the amazing roof which is now also pretty much useless right now as the car is not running, but anyway. Yeah, at least the car is not completely dented up anymore. Thanks to everybody in Wolft. Thank you very much for watching the video. Don't let this, I don't know, don't, just stay positive, guys. Right.